My name is Corey Miska, and I drive a 2001 BMW 325. I'm not with the team, but I do drive with uh, close friends of mine. Uh, my car has <clears throat> all the suspension work done to it. Uh, full angle kit to allow you know more steering angle. Uh, adjust everything's adjustable on the suspension. Uh, stock motor and drivetrain. I have a roll cage in it, some racing seats, and just a bunch of fiberglass bodywork. Um, I probably have about ten to fifteen thousand dollars into the car, um, and it's just going to keep going up because I'm not done with it. Uh, Time-wise, maybe a hundred hours or probably even more than that. Honestly, probably like 200 hours into the car. Uh, drifting is driving your car as fast as you can into a corner and sliding it through a series of corners and just having a lot of fun. Drifting is kind of like a lifestyle for me. Everything I do reflects some way, shape, or form for drifting. Um, if I'm not at work, I'm working on my car or a friend's cars or anything involving drifting. Um, I was watching a show on TV when I was probably 13 years old, uh, reviewing video games, and they showed some drifting, and I was, I've been hooked ever since. I think the public looks at drifting as a waste of money. They don't understand why I would go out on track and destroy a bunch of tires and wreck my car, and they're probably right. <laughs> People think that you need to build a crazy car um, with a lot of horsepower to go out and drift and honestly you just need something basic to get started with. Nothing too crazy and that way it keeps it cheap. If you build the car too crazy you're going to spend a lot of money and probably get burned out on it. My name is Bryce Verdu. I drive a 2003 Lexus IS300. I do not drive with a team. Um, the reason why is I just haven't really found a, guess, a big enough group of friends or anybody that's wanted to do it um, and be serious enough about it. I wouldn't be against it though. Um, so like I said, it's a 2003 Lexus IS300. Um, they weren't really made to drift or anything. So it was kind of a sports car to begin with, a sportier car. Um, it has a limited slip differential from the factory, meaning that it allows both tires to spin at the same time um, when under load. Uh, and then I also have a steering angle kit on the car which allows me to take the factory steering and instead of only turning a little bit, now it turns a lot more so when you're at full walk in drift, you have more grip. Uh, I have coilovers on the car that lower it and also stiffen the whole chassis. Um, other than that, it's just a body kit, uh, some appearance mods and a cold air intake to just make the engine breathe better. Drifting is kind of silly in a sense when you think about it. Um, it is basically going out there and doing what I think is the most fun thing in a car, which is just a constant burnout and slide around every corner, but under control. Um, so it's essentially being in control of something uncontrolled. Uh, that's the best way I would say to explain it. Drifting to me is, well, it's my number one hobby. Um, it's where I met most of my friends that I have here in Michigan uh, since I've moved here from California. I share the same hobby and passion that most of these guys do, obviously for drifting, and it's just a good time. I actually grew up racing sport bikes in California, and while I was there, out on the skid pad on the other side of the track, I heard tires and squealing and smoke, and I went over there as a kid, and I watched it happening, and right then I was like, man, I want to do that, but I couldn't even drive yet, so by the time I was able to drive, the first thing I wanted to do was get a car. Uh, I'd say my favorite thing about drifting is uh, getting together with all my friends, um, arranging the trip for traveling, because usually we don't always stay in Michigan because there's not as many events here. Uh, we'll travel all the way to like the east coast of Virginia, New Jersey, I've been as far south as Georgia, um, and then also out on the west coast I've drifted before where I grew up out there. Um, yeah, the biggest thing I'd say is just with my friends, having fun. I would say most of the older generation of the public probably sees it as kind of a nuisance or reckless. 
Um, I know my parents at first didn't quite understand it when I was taking a car that they thought was really nice and then just going out there and thrashing on it. Um, I, in a sense, I wouldn't say they're wrong. They just probably don't understand it all yet. Um, I've never met anybody that's come to a drift event and rode along in my car, uh, young or old, that didn't just have an absolute blast and absolutely love it. I would recommend it to somebody else because it's, I mean, it's been a huge way for me to get out and like travel and meet a bunch of really cool people from all over the Midwest. I'd say all over the United States, even the world. I mean, into this car, I'd probably have, if I already guess, probably about a total of like 10 grand maybe. This car, not so much. Um, it's still pretty much in the building process. All said and done, I'm sure there's going to be a good chunk into it. Time-wise, uh, probably have, I don't know, maybe like 80 to 100 hours into it, if that. So, yeah. I'm John Brumfield, and I have a 1990 S13 Coupe, a Nissan 240SX. I don't exactly drive with a team, uh, mostly because no one's been serious enough about it yet, uh, but I do drive with a bunch of my friends regularly. Uh, my car basically has completely aftermarket suspension, front and rear. Uh, it's had uh, the engine out of the Japanese counterpart uh, swapped into it with a bigger turbo. Uh, it's got a roll cage as well as uh, a bunch of fiberglass body panels and a body kit and a wide body. Oh man. Uh, time, I have no clue in hours, legitimately. Uh, I have a new car now uh, that I've been building since January and literally every hour that I'm not at work or asleep, I'm on that car. Um, it's, it's been a lot of uh, be at work at like 6 or 7 a.m., get out at like 3, 4 o'clock be on the car till midnight and on the weekends all day from January to uh, low style I think was it, it was like three weeks ago or something like that um, and as far as money I think I paid like somewhere around six grand for the car and then parts wise I'm probably a good like ten or fifteen thousand dollars more into it uh, drifting is the most fun way to do burnouts <laughs> Um, you essentially do burnouts through turns going as fast as you can. Drifting at this point I think is kind of a lifestyle. Um, it's what everything is geared towards. My job, my finances, <laughs> my living situation. It's kind of cheesy sounding but drifting kind of is everything at this point. But driving is just, there's, there's not a way to explain it at all. Uh, it is definitely the, my favorite thing to do ever. Uh, there is not anything better than that. Uh, I think the public probably kind of sees it as uh, that that new thing that the kids do that's all rebellious and rowdy and I, I feel like the public does see it mostly as a nuisance because there's all these kids doing it on the street illegally and whatever and uh, They'd be right about those kids that are on the street doing it, but uh, just like every other motorsport, you can do it legally, and I still feel like they kind of frown upon that, but that part is wrong. Everyone thinks it's like Tokyo Drift, and it's not. Not even a little bit. The cars aren't built like that. Uh, they usually don't look like that. Um, nothing about the driving is real. <laughs> There's pretty much almost all of its fate. Uh, I would recommend drifting to somebody else because I think it's probably the most fun thing you could ever do. Um, I've never taken anybody for a ride in my car that did not enjoy it. Uh, lots of people I've taken for a ride in my car immediately without me saying anything wanted to go buy a car and go do it. 